Good day, ladies and germs. Connor here from C Dubs Media, back with another video. And today we're doing a quick video on the Pixel 6a and the top five settings to change right now on your Pixel 6a. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. Now, I just do want to point out quickly that if this is your first Pixel phone, you are probably going to find one or two of these quite helpful. If you're second, third, or fourth Pixel phone, you might find one or none of these helpful. But hopefully, you get something out of it. And if you do appreciate this video, make sure you hit the thanks button down below and donate to the channel. You know, as much as a cup of coffee will really help keep the channel going. So much appreciated if you can do that. Now, the first setting I'm gonna go through is quick tap to turn on your display. Now, a lot of people don't want always on display. They like their privacy, they like to save battery, they don't always want the display on like it is there. They wanna be able to just tap and see the display when they want access to that information, like so. So, how do we enable that? I'm gonna open up the display, and I'm gonna scroll down to settings, and here we're gonna go into display settings. And in display settings, we wanna tap on lock screen. And then here we've got tap to check phone. And you can also have lift to check phone, but I find lift to check phone has it coming on and off all the time, whereas tap to check phone is only when you require it. So here we go. To check the time, notifications, and other info, tap your screen. I do find that really handy and sometimes I do turn off my always on display because I wanna save battery as well. So that is the first tip. Second one is flip to shush. Now you do wanna make sure you have a case on your device for this one. Currently my phone is on, anyone can annoy me, they can ring me, send me messages and I'm gonna get an audible notification and a vibration. But Flip to shush. Now, no one can call me, no one could message me. It is in do not disturb mode and it happens just by turning your phone over. And I think that is really cool. You know, a lot of people talk about the slider on the OnePlus phones and on the Apple phones. Well, here we've got an even better version on Android and it's flip to shush or flip to put to do not disturb. So how we enable that, scroll down to settings, go down to system, gestures and then scroll down and it says here flip to shush now it says flip to shush and there's everything i just told you to turn on do not disturb place your phone face down on a flat surface you will feel a subtle vibration when do not disturb turns on love it great little tip definitely one worth using don't forget if you do like some of these little tips hit the like button it's much appreciated now the next one we're gonna go through is one-handed mode. And as you can see, there's a little transparent button right here next to my thumb on my left-hand side. If I tap that, it shrinks the display. So if I'm using it one-handed, I don't have to go up here with my thumb and like surf up and down the sides of my device. I just tap the button and there it is. Now this is particularly helpful if say you're writing a note or something like that. So let me just go into my notes and go new note and I might want to put a title in and I can't reach up to it with my thumb I just tap this and it brings it down and I can tap in title and it will change the location of the cursor so that alone is going to save me some fumbling around with the phone trying to get my thumb into the right place I really dig that how do we enable that we go into settings again we go back into system gestures and here we go one-handed mode and if you scroll to the bottom it's got one-handed mode shortcut which I find is even easier than one-handed mode pulled screen into reach like here I find having the, the little transparent shortcut is much easier than trying to pull down and scroll down in the right spot to enable it so there you go okay next one is a bit of a personal one and it's a bit more of like 
just making it better looking on the eye, your display. Now this is a small display, it's 6.1 inches. Take the bezels out, you're probably looking at six inches. And I do think that having too many, too much of a grid on here makes it look a bit too small and a bit too shrunken. So I like to have it in four by five and it can be set up in many different ways. So we're gonna go into wallpapers and style, scroll down and it says app grid. We tap on here, and we can have five by five, which looks to me, looks too small. It just is for me. Um, but then you can also go right over here to someone who might be visually impaired or have problems with eyesight and you go two by two. And there is two huge icons on each side of the display. I find that really good for people who might not be able to see. I just think it's really thoughtful for those, you know, not everyone's young and has amazing eyesight. But for me, the sweet spot is in the middle here of four by five. For me, that's how I like it. Four by five, it's not too crammed in and it's not too big. It still looks nice and fresh, if that's the correct word. So I like that. Again, hold down on your display, go into wallpaper and style and scroll to the bottom and you can change your app grid. Happy days, I love it. Now the next one, you might already be looking at, and that is the widget here. This is the battery widget. Now I find this really helpful because it tells me what devices are connected to my phone, but also if they have the right settings enabled in them, they also tell you how much battery is left in the devices that are connected. So as you can just see, I just pulled out my Pixel Buds, they are on, and you can see how much percentage of battery life they have left in them just like so. And I really, really like that. Look, other devices, if I tap on here, you can see what else is connected. For me, it's the Galaxy Watch, but you can't see the percentage here for that. But I imagine you will be when the Pixel Watch finally comes out, you'll be able to see that in here as well. For me, that's nice handy little shortcut there. I like seeing information. I like having access to information at a glance and definitely have it here. Now, before I get into tip number five, I do actually have an extra tip coming up, so make sure you hang around. It doesn't end at tip number five. We actually have a sixth tip in here for you all. Now, the extra tip that I'm talking about, or the sixth tip or setting to change, is probably more of an amazing one than the others because it's having dictation and live captions and that sort of thing and live translate. It really is amazing what these little phones can do. Now, if I go into my phone, go to settings, it all starts in the settings, system, and you can see here, live translate. Now, this actually notices when you have a different language on your display or coming through your device in some way. It notices it and it asks you if you wanna translate it on the go and you can choose which language, but quite often it will suggest to you which language. So that is awesome. I do think that's, you know, that's the sort of technology we need in our phones. And to get it at this price point, better than anyone else on the market is really cool. And then that same sort of software can also go over into what we call dictation. So if I go to a note here and I wanna write a note, and just say you're walking and you can't be typing too well, so you can just dictate and you can say, this is a note to remind me to start editing this video at 9 p.m. tomorrow. And I really want to talk about quick tap to start, flip to shush, one-handed moan, screen app grid 4x5, battery widget, live captions, and dictation. So that's how impressive it is. And you can see it's still going, it's still dictating from what I'm saying and getting it pretty much spot on with every word, full stop. And this is why I think Google is ahead of the game when it comes to this sort of thing. This software, it's bare bones, but it's also packed with things that are just really helpful. Things like always being able to identify what song you're listening to, whether you're connected to the internet or not, on your lock screen, you hear a song, you look at your phone, and it will tell you who the artist is and what song is playing. I mean, you don't get that on every device. You don't get that with every manufacturer. You only get it with the Pixel phones, 
For me, the Pixel 6a is definitely the best phone you can get right now for the money. If you've got that money and you want to buy a phone, I would not say buy anything else. US, whatever, $449. In Australia, $750. It is still an amazing bargain. $400 to $500 cheaper than the iPhone 13. $400 to $500 cheaper than the Galaxy S22. But just as good, if not better. That's it. I hope you appreciated this video. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. And again, if you really liked it, hit the thanks button and I will catch you all in the next video. Check ya.